Welcome to Wonderful Revolution. We are Sandy and Jet. After spending 11 months building out our 2019 Sprinter van, we are finally hitting the road. It's been hot out there throughout the country, so we decided to hit some higher ground and visit beautiful Colorado. The first town we're visiting, Frisco. You see these smiles? It's because we're in a beautiful place. <laughs> Here, look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. So we have found our way to Colorado. Um, we decided to come here because it is hot everywhere else. So we decided to come to Elevation in Colorado and it worked because the weather is actually a little chilly. <laughs> yeah, well, we're over 9,000 feet right now. Mm -hmm. So we're over 9,000 feet and the temperature got down to the low 40s, upper 30s last night. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit chilly. So we are at this really, really cool um, National Forest Service campground called Pine Cove. So uh, we're actually right outside of Frisco, Colorado, um, which is also close to Breckenridge and lots of other amazing places. Um, but this is an absolutely gorgeous um, campground. The downside is the parking for your RVs or vans in our case is an old parking lot. <laughs> yeah, it is an old parking lot, but it has a million dollar view. So that kind of just negates the whole pavement. Deal, so. Yeah, so we're okay with it. <laughs> and besides this area, so if you're coming here and you plan on boondocking, this uh, or like just kind of out on forest land or whatever, there's not a lot of it around here. And the cities or uh, towns around here have really kind of um, tightened down on allowing people to park just anywhere in their, their vans and stuff. So yeah, this you will is... get the knock in the middle of the night here. So we just decided the campground was the safest thing to do. This is the Dillon Reservoir in Frisco that we're staying at, if we didn't mention it before. So you know where not to park. So, But yeah, you can't really park anywhere in Frisco or the surrounding towns without getting the knock. So uh, on a lark, we came down here and we're lucky enough to get a spot. Yeah, so um, enough of us jibber jabbering away. We're going to get out there and show you some stuff. Um, we are having to acclimate to the 9,000 foot um, elevation here. So we decided we'd start out the day with a nice easy hike. Um, we're gonna do like, a, th there's a perimeter trail here um, around the uh, reservoir area. So we're gonna go and hopefully get some beautiful views of these mountains and Dillon Reservoir. on the perimeter trail has actually brought us really close to the town of Frisco which we're going to be visiting later this afternoon but um, of note behind us you can see the marina in the background lots of boats around here but we hear that the marina also has lots of rentals you can rent kayaks canoes um, paddle boards stand up pedal boards I believe uh, that would have actually been really cool to do but it's kind of on the pricey side so we're gonna skip it but just know that it is here if um, you want to go out on the reservoir on the lake onto Lake Dillon while you're here. The perimeter loop trail was absolutely awesome. A uh, really good kind of beginner hike, uh, five and a half miles to kind of acclimate you to the uh, to the altitude here. So uh, we are a little bit a little bit tired. I am. I don't know about Sandy. She's shrugging her head. So the uh, the trail does get a tiny bit crowded because it is a multi-use trail, tons of uh, mountain bikers. Actually, the majority of the people we saw this morning were mountain bikers, but highly, highly recommend it. So now we are, I'm gonna take off uh, some sweaty clothes, put on some new clothes, and we're gonna head into Frisco. So obviously we have worked up an appetite. <laughs> so we are gonna grab something to eat. Yes. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them half the time. Um, there's a little place here called Butterhorn Bakery that's supposed to be really good. They make all their stuff fresh every day. Um, it closes at 2 and it's already like 1, so a little after, so we're hoping to squeeze in there before they close. Um, yeah, so let's eat. Wow, so that was a really good lunch. <sighs> I'm so full. So I had the muffaletta. It was really tasty. As you can see, the sandwich is absolutely massive. Had a little bit of pasta salad on the side, which is pretty tasty. 
and I had a spicy chicken guacamole sandwich, which was on a homemade or house-made croissant. They make them there. It's a bakery, of course. Um, and it was absolutely delicious. Again, with the macaroni pasta salad. Um, highly recommend. It's but one of the highest rated, rated restaurants here in um, Frisco, and it always comes, you know, highly suggested. So. If it's your first time here, definitely give it a try. And we did pick up some, so they do sell desserts and some sweet stuff, if you like desserts and sweet stuff. So uh, we're gonna save these for later. So weather's looking a little cloudy outside. So we decided to check out the little history museum and park here. So, um, so far we've put a quarter inside to watch the little train go around, which was pretty cool. Um, next we're heading out back, they have, um, I think you said like what nine cabins out here? Like I can't nine remember, buildings. But there are all these historic buildings, some uh, like of the original buildings. And the great thing about this museum is it's absolutely free. Except for that quarter for the train. Except for the quarter for the train. Worth it. Um, and we absolutely we like doing this kind of stuff because you really can learn about you know the town you're visiting. And so we always try to do something historical or learny. Learny. Whenever we visit somewhere. Okay, let's go get our learn on. <laughs> It has started raining. It's raining. Can oh you believe this? I know, right? Jeez, Colorado. Mm, here's a little bit of nightmare fuel for you. <laughs> Old dolls, so freaky. So this place is really cool. It really shows you how like the first pioneers um, in Frisco lived. Yeah, the buildings are really cool. They've moved them from different locations from all over the Frisco area and brought them, brought them right here um, on Main Street where you can kind of explore them. They are, they're really cool, um, especially like how the log structures and- The old memorabilia in there is, is pretty daggone amazing. Um, yeah, and there was this uh, Coca-Cola like refrigerator, like cooler thing, that thing. Oh wow, like if you're a Coca-Cola collector, that's like- Yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't- don't try to take it. That that would be no, no, that would no, be no, awful. No, that would be good. But no, it's really cool to just kind of see how people lived and like, um, yeah, I don't know. No, it's just really neat and it's it's historic. I mean, it's not for everybody. I mean, everyone's like kayaking and mountain biking and parasailing and bear fighting we here. We like that stuff too, especially the bear fighting. Yeah, especially the bear fighting. But it's it's kind of cool to see like, you know, how it all started. Yeah, so definitely check it out. It, you know, it, we think it's worth it. All right, so now we're just going to take a little bit of a walk through this downtown area. It's actually really, really beautiful with the surrounding mountains and just the streets. There's like flowers everywhere. It's really pretty. They've closed off the street and they kind of have like a, they call it like the shopping and dining and lodging promenade. So, yeah, uh, so we were actually here like five years ago when we first started travel nursing and we came through here and you could actually drive all the way down main street back then um still absolutely beautiful and it's kind of nice that they've kind of closed it off so you can kind of freely walk between everything um but yeah let's explore it a little bit So Keita's been hanging out on the front seat while we were walking around Frisco. Don't worry, the AC and the fan and everything kept her nice and cool, <laughs> which I don't think she likes. She she always gets up here in the sun and tries to like cook her little cat body. And it's only like 63 degrees here today. <laughs> yeah, it's only 63 degrees. Well, that was a fun little mountain town. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like a really, really big mountain town, but there's quite a bit to do. There's the reservoir, you know, hiking, of course, there are a million trails all over this place, you know, so pick your trail and go. Um, but the t downtown is really cute. Definitely worth spending an afternoon at least walking around down there. Plenty of food. Plenty of food. I'm stuffed from lunch or I would have eaten all the things on the street. As you go by, you can smell all the different restaurants and everything. And they smell good. Yeah, they do. But we also have our little snack from the bakery. So we had sandwiches at the bakery, but you can't go to a bakery and not get like a baked good a baked good so i got jed a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie 
and I have a peanut butter one. So to close out this video, we are going to do a cookie test. I love how she just tears hers off. Mm, this is really good. It's amazing how you can be full and there's still room for cookies. There's always room for cookies. Mm -hmm. No, they're really good. Definitely check this place out. Even if you don't want like a full meal, go grab you like a pastry, a cookie, a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, definitely worth it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed our little excursion today to Frisco and our little hike this morning. That was fun. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm not going to lie. I, I think I got a little sunburn. My lips are a little chapped. I don't know what to do with them. I've already said that this video. I think she has. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And until next time, stay wonderful. Hey. What you said. Call it a day.